For the hamburger, here are the ingredients. We first of all start by measuring 3 tablespoons of flour into your non-stick pan and then 12 tablespoons of water mixed together. Mix it until it is very smooth, then transfer to heat. This is called roux or tangzon. Tangzon is mostly used when the Japanese want to make their white bread. While the word roux is from French language. So you continue to mix while on heat, continue to stir it while on heat until it forms a pap. And after that, transfer it to a bowl and cover it with clean film. Just like in the other video, I have used a foil paper to do this, but clean film is actually the best because no heat will escape and it will stop it from drying out. Now, after covering it very tightly, set it aside to cool down. Into the mixing bowl, I have 514 grams of flour and I'll be adding 6 tablespoons of sugar. After that, I will set it aside. Into another smaller bowl, I'll be adding 4 teaspoons of yeast, half cup of water, and then 5 grams of sugar and I will mix very well and cover it remember the water I'm using here is tepid water it is neither hot nor cold I will mix very well and then cover and set aside for 5 minutes Into the mixing bowl with the floor, I'm going to continue with the measurement of the milk. And for the milk, I will be adding 20 grams of milk into the floor, 5 grams of salt also into the floor, I will mix together, then I will be adding the yeast mixture. It has proved and also the butter half cup of butter and finally I'll be adding the roux or tangzon whichever one that is better for you to pronounce they all mean the same thing Next, add half cup of water. Mix a little and take it straight to the mixer to mix on high speed for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, sprinkle some flour on the work table and transfer the dough to the table. Cut into 100 grams each okay and then mold to a smooth ball and then place on a prepared pan where i have already rubbed my butter for easy remover by the time the bread is baked now the next thing you have to do is to press the dough let them be a little bit flat and after the whole dough is molded cover it to rest for two hours Now, after two hours, uncover the dough and apply your egg, okay? Egg wash the dough. Do this until you go round, then bake until golden brown. Now, this is the minced meat we'll be using. Um, into the minced meat, I should be adding my onion powder. But because I don't have onion powder, I'll be using raw onions. 
and for the raw onions i had to grind it i'll be grinding together with the garlic before adding it to the meat at this point i want to use my small mortar to do this you can as well use your blender if you have okay So now into the meat, I'll be adding half egg. This is not up to one egg because the meat is quite small. And I will also be adding my cayenne pepper, which is normal dry pepper they sell in the market. Now mix very well to combine and then add your salt. Mix again and then add half of your stock cube. Remember you are working with a very small meat. Adding too much stock cube can make the meat to be too salty. So you have to be careful and mindful of that. So after adding the stock cube, make sure to mix again. Finally, I'm going to be adding my onions, my grinded onions and garlic. Mix again and then with your hand mold into the flat ball you want to use for your burger. So because meat is something that by the time you cook it, it will shrink. You don't have to make it to be too small, else they won't even see it in the burger. Now look at what I'm holding. It's almost full in my hand. By the time I finish cooking it, it will come together. So if it is too small, you wouldn't like what you will get. So make sure the, the meat you are molding is quite big enough so that by the time you finish cooking, it will still remain what you can use for your burger. After molding, take straight to the heat and cover to cook. Remember that I did not add water. This is a non-stick pan, so the water that is inside the meat the one the meat yielded is the one cooking it all you need to do is to flip over as you are doing the cooking okay if you have grilling machine you can go ahead and use it if you don't have it go ahead and use your non-stick pan to do this it will give you the same result Now you can see the meat is well cooked with a little burnt up and down and the water completely dried. Okay, that's how you know that the meat is cooked. Now for the burger bread, there is something I did not use and that thing is called sesame seed. It makes the burgers look very unique. I couldn't find it around me and that's why I didn't use it. The right time to add it. Is immediately you find out that the breads have been proofed and you have applied your egg so that egg you applied is what is going to be holding the sesame seed and it will bake together now let's make our hamburgers first of all you start by cutting the bread into two equal parts like you see already on the video what I'm going to be using to decorate this is two bread after cutting, you can go ahead and toast it if you like. If you don't like, just go ahead and start. Our bread is still very fresh, so there's no need for the toasting. Okay? Now you place your meat. The next thing you do, you place your tomatoes. And the next thing, you add your onions. Like I said, decorate it the way you want it and whatever thing you have for it. There are even some burgers that they use egg inside it. So everything depends on your pocket. And after onions, you add your lettuce. And after your lettuce leaf, you add your you add the ketchup, the tomato ketchup. And after tomato ketchup, you now add your bama or mayonnaise, any type you, that you like. Okay. And after that, you cover with the second bread, and then you use your toothpick to hold the both bread together. So this is what I am going to be doing with the other bread. Now, don't forget, 
there are many ways you can decorate your burger this is just one of the simple ways okay this meat in some burgers can be up to two it can be up to three they give it layers upon layers so everything depends on your pocket if you are the type that like cheese and you want to add cheese the right cheese to buy is cheddar cheese for your burger take note of that So this is it. You hold it down with your toothpick again and our burger is ready. Now, the name of this particular burger is not actually hamburger. The word ham is gotten from pig meat. What we have just done is beef burger. Okay, but you can use the ham, which is the pig meat, if you are a fan of it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.